We're 10 days away from starting on stage in Travis, I think 12 days away from opening. Uh, and we starting to be really rehearse. This afternoon we have our choir coming in again. We have a 16 person choir who are now in the process of mainly learning lines because they most of the time they will speak as one voice which means they need to be absolutely word perfect to sound as one voice which is a hard job but they're doing really well. Can be extremely painful. She should enjoy her life. We can't be working our organs to make people less embarrassing to look after. It ends like training for a reason and knowing that you're, you're, you're not quite on the talking wall but you're having to warm up and you better make sure you're ready for the race. Cause there's a lot of preparation stuff and a lot of what can we do now but also a lot of wanting to to get there, one can get on with it and get the show open. It's a little bit scary, but um, <laughs> I'm confident that we will get it, that we will get there. I mean. For us, coming from Belgium, this isn't that long a rehearsal pro, uh, process. This is more or less what we're used to. I think it stems from the fact that we never start from a fixed script. So there's also a lot of exploring to be done. How do you handle text? What can be done? Do you have all the, the, the insights that you want to, uh, to have? Uh, aren't you too much advocating a certain point of view? Uh, is it funny enough? Is it, uh, is it heavy enough? Is it, all these things are, need to be in balance. And so it's nice to have time for it. So you can try many, many different things and actually wait as long as possible before you start making final decisions. That's like the main advantage to, to having this amount of time. But I think they're going to that kind of, come on, ready. <laughs> like, like, I go, you know, because it's been four years in the making, it's quite a while to be, you know, yep, we're there. Let's go.